Hello Scorpio, this is your mid-January 2019 reading. It will not resonate with all Scorpios. But this is a five card spread, mid-January 2019 Scorpio. The energy is coming in, the general energies for the population of Scorpio, mid-January 2019. Do shuffle these prior and meditate on your sign. All signs I do that with. If you want to be notified of future videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. This is for Scorpio, mid-January 2019. See what the incoming energies are beginning energies. Wheel of Fortune. Good luck coming your way possibly. Beginning energy. Wanting good luck to come your way. Like I said, possibly good fortune. It's in the upright, the Wheel of Fortune. You like it that way, trust me. In the past, you may have been dealing with a air sign. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. They are in the upright, and I will clarify them. I will clarify all these cards in a minute. Obstacle, you're wanting a new offers to come in. Maybe you're having trouble obtaining them for some reason. Or maybe you feel like they're not coming in the way you want them to. But in it is an obstacle. These are new beginnings of new offers. Did see that wheel of fortune? We gotta keep that in mind. Remember, current environment. <clears throat> or the subject at hand is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, possibly coming out of failure or stuck in it. I need to clarify that also. Outside energies. Hmm. Outside energies or the outside environment. There are people around you. The High Priestess in reverse. You may some things may come out. You may your intuition. You may be trying to figure them out. And you may have trouble figuring a few people around you out with the, with the um, high priestess in reverse. Final outcome, I'm going to keep that overturned because I do not want to be influenced just yet by these cards. We'll look at it in a minute. Let's clarify these first. Prince of Swords. In the past, why are you there in mid-January for Scorpio? Why are you there? King of Pentacles. I think you're doing dealing with a few people. Or you may be taking on this energy. King of Pentacles can be an earth sign. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They are in the upright. Sound. Secure. Looked highly in the community. But the King of Pentacles, you could be taking on this energy, believe it or not. Taking on your crown. Taking on security. Taking on positive energy. King of Pentacles, Prince of Swords, why are you there in the past for Scorpio? Page of Rods, like I said, you may be dealing with more than one or two people. Page of Rods can be a fire sign or a passionate message, <clears throat> a fiery message. It's in the upright. It's a fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like I said, someone taking on that energy. I'm thinking there's a lot of energy here in the past. Things dealing with more than one person. And maybe some of you are talking back and forth with each other. It's something you're very passionate about. Obstacle. Ace of Disc. In the upright. Why are you there? Queen of Rods, or Wands, depending on which deck you're using. Queen of uh, Rods is, up, is in reverse. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe you're trying to have this new offer with a fire sign that is not cooperating, possibly. Or maybe they're wanting a new offer with you, and maybe they're, not, they're having a hard time obtaining it with you, and it's putting them out of sorts a little bit. It may cause a bit of a tower situation. Tried falling out. I got to put it out there. I'm going to put another card. It's a tower situation involved with a new beginning and involves possibly with a fire sign. 
or like I said, someone with kind of passion and energy. Can I get another card for the uh, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Rods in reverse, and the Tower in the upright? Why are you there as the obstacle? So something come crumbling down or a shocking event or something you heard that shocked you that left your decisions changed. King of Cups, that could be you. That could, you know, or it could be another Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. It's got you out of sorts too. Or, or like I said, another water sign out of sorts. You're dealing with, like I said, more than one person. Maybe even more than two or three. But a shocking event, as they call, something that surprised you, that left things changed within your realm of what you wanted. Current environment, subject at hand, seven of pentacles in reverse. Why are you there? This one to come out. The empress. I'm feeling some of you want to come out of failure and get some growth that seemed to be stuck for a while. You're trying to come out of that situation where things just weren't growing or going the way you wanted them to. For a very couple of you, just a couple of you, this could have been a failed pregnancy or unable to become pregnant for some of you, just for a couple of you. But others, they may be trying to come out of that and get that way. But anyway... This overall energy is coming out of failure or trying to get things going again because they were unfruitful. Because this is the why card, you know, why it's happening. So trying to come out of failure with things that you want to grow again. Why you there, the Empress in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles as the current environment or the subject you're thinking about what's going on. You know, you're trying to uh, collaborate, trying to work on something. You're trying to work on something so you can come out of this failed situation with the Three of Pentacles. Again, you're dealing with more than one person. A family situation, a group setting, friends, workers, it doesn't matter. You're dealing, like I said, with a few people. Outside environment, the High Priestess in reverse. Why are you there? For Scorpio. Oops. Strength. One another card before I try to decipher these. High Priestess in the Strength card. Why are you there? Scorpio, outside environment. Seven of Swords. Okay. That seems to be a stalker card for some of you. Different, different. It's coming up in different signs too. That's why I call it a stalk, stalker card because it's constantly popping up. But it could be. Outside environment, things come out that you weren't expecting. Remember, we got that tower. Someone's trying to strong arm in a certain way and maybe get by with something of outside energy. Remember, I said you were dealing with more than one person. It could be just one person that you're dealing with. Like I said, you're dealing with water, you're dealing with fire, you're dealing with earth. Dealing with air. I'm talking a lot of Scorpios here, you know. But got to watch something sneaky, something underhanded, something that fl it was flying under the radar. Someone was trying to regain strength, take uh, take the helm on this, and they it kind of came out. And maybe you found out about it, or it could be that they found something out about you. You know. Now, as the ending energy or the final outcome, I should say, you're worried getting that card a lot, also. And remember that Wheel of Fortune, things are going to get better. Your, your fortune is going to change or wouldn't be there. But you had a little disruption of something that came out, whether you did it or they did it. And someone else worried and felt left out, feeling a little abandoned and feeling rejected. Five of Pentacles, that's the final outcome. Why are you there for Scorpio mid-January? Why are you worried? You are wanting your happy home. You want your happy situation. Things to be victorious in your surroundings, you know, your home life, your personal life. You're worried about that, your happiness. Can I get another card for the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Wands or Rods? Mmm, 
Two of Wands. I haven't gotten that in a while. You may have to make a, a decision what you want in life so you can be happy with the Two of Rods. That's weighing things out also, sort of like the Two of Pentacles, but it's more of, it's a, it's more of a fast energy, a quick energy. It needs to be done. Get out of this worry. You need to make a decision so you can be happy. You have a happy home, happy situation, whatever is going on. The decision needs to be made. you got to pick one or the other. You know? One is usually... You kind of don't want to let go of either one sometimes with that. But there's always one that's a little bit better than the other. Let me put it that way. And you're having trouble deciding, but you need to. Can I get another card for the Five of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Two of Wands as the final outcome? Oops. Try to pop out. And you need to do it quickly with the Chariot. Okay? Chariot wants to move forward quickly, and it may move for you, You're going to have to make a decision soon to come out of that worry. Whatever happened to you, that abandonment issue, feeling left out in the cold, as they say. There may be a little bit of an argument as the ending energy with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is a winner and there's a loser. Sometimes it can get a little aggressive, so if you don't want this, try to avoid the fighting. Try not to go fighting whatever decision you have to make. But the Five of Swords is there as the ending energy, so a possible argument could occur at the end of this when you do finally make your decision, which you will. To come out of worry, you got to do it. And maybe people around you won't like it, or that people may be doing this to you and you won't like it, and you're going to argue about it. But the energy is there, and if you don't want it, take on your own power and dismiss it. Don't accept it in your life. But this is your reading. I'll be giving you another reading for February, before February. And just try to come out of worry. Don't let things upset you as much if you can. You have good fortune cards. Too. It's the universe is handing that to you. Do what you want with it and make it work for you. And that is your reading, Scorpio, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.